Hello guys, welcome to this new video on Python. In this video, we are going to learn uh, a very interesting topic known as text summarization. So what is text summarization? So let's say we have a lot of text. Let's say I have written a very big essay uh, regarding my favorite uh, cricket player or football player and I am writing a bunch of essay and, and this kind of uh, text I have written. So the goal is that now if I want to just shorten out the text from my essay to just a summary of two three lines that what this essay is all about so it is very difficult task for people who will be checking a lot of essays who checks a lot of essays on daily basis so so how can we use python to just summarize text and get a feel what the text is all about so this is what text summarization is all about so let's get started with the code itself and uh, then you'll understand what i'm talking about so I have pre-written the code for you here and let's go through the code and try to understand what's happening in the code. So for playing around with text, we have this very important Python library called as NLTK. So from NLTK.corpus, we are importing stop words. So what are stop words? Stop words are basically, stop words are basically words like is, am, are, which actually don't hold any value for any sentence. So these are basically stop words. So what we do is that from a sentence, let's say the sentence is I like uh, this dog very much. I like this dog very much. So I know that this sentence is about a dog, but uh, in this, this I, then this, these are not very, very important words. So these are stop words, right? So what NLTK does is that it, it has this corpus, which has all the stop words in it. So let's try to, uh, along with that, there are other dependencies like uh, for tokenizing, we will have this uh, word tokenization as well as sentence tokenization. So we will be importing both of them from NLTK. Now let's import the NLTK, let's download the stop words and I'll show you how the stop words actually look like. So uh, here we have the stop words and for, for English language, we'll be printing out in English stop words. So we have it in the form of text. We are storing it in this variable stop words and you see these are all the stop words, won't, into, am, same, of, while, blah, blah, blah. This kind of stop words are there in this uh, corpus and we will be ignoring them when we are calculating the frequency of words as well as sentences so let's try to tokenize the text that we want to input so firstly we have to input a text here so i have a uh, i have a string literal here for in python and let's try to get some text from internet so let's try to get a text on sachin tendulkar something like that so sachin tendulkar is a very famous cricketer right so what we'll do is that we'll copy a bunch of Wikipedia text about such a Tendulkar and we'll just paste it as an input to our Python code. So it has this all the text in this string. So now let's try to tokenize this text. So what tokenization will do is that it will break every each and every word in this whole uh, text that we have printed about that we just input about. So this is all the words that are there in the uh, that is there in the text. So now after that, what we do is that we calculate a frequency table of each and every word. So for that, we are initializing a dictionary here. And in the dictionary, what we'll do is that we loop through the list of the words that we got from the tokenize object above. Then we lower the words. And if we see that the words is in the stop words variable, then we continue. If, if it is in the frequency table, then we just increase the frequency by one. If it is not, then we keep the frequency as it is. So now let's try to print the frequency. So you see that in the sentences, this is how many times the words have occurred. So Sachin has occurred one time, Ramesh has occurred one time, Tendulkar has occurred nine times. So this is how it goes. Like this is the word frequency that we wanted to calculate on the original text. Now next is that we try to tokenize the sentences that is not the words but we try to break the whole text into multiple sentences so for that we are using this sent tokenize uh, method that we just called from nltk dot tokenize along with word tokenize so we we'll just pass in the entire text to this 
and we get all the sentences in a list here so you see sachin is uh, this is the first sentence so if you want to just see if we are getting in the form of sentences or not so just write sentences so you see this is how the uh, send tokenize will tokenize all the sentences then we have this get sentence value function here which actually gets the sentence value of each and every sentence in the entire text so what it does is that we again have initialize a dictionary here and for every sentence in the sentences that we just tokenized we will be checking for the word and its frequency that we stored in this dictionary that is the frequency table dictionary here uh, so we are unpacking it with the help of frequency dot items and it will be unpacked in this two variables that is word and frequency if the word is in sentence lower then we increase the value of sentence by one so we get in this if loop we see if the sentence is in the sentence value we increase the sentence value uh, frequency by one so this shows that that sentence is of much importance because those words which are there in those sentence they have a very high frequency that means their importance is higher than uh, the other sentences so this is the loop that runs throughout for each and every sentence and then we get the sentence value of each and every sentence so let's try to see how the sentence value function works so if i get this first sentence that is sachin tendulkar has done whatever 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 so you see that along with this this is the key and here you see the value the value is 128 that means the value of this sentence is 128 for the next sentence he is regarded as the greatest batsman of all time it has the value as 40 so this is how the value of the sentence is calculated post that we try to get what is the average value of uh, all these sentences in the original text so for that we just initialize the sum value we again go through the, all the sentence value dictionary and we try to add all the sentence values uh, value here which we got and try to get the average of it by just summing everything and calculating the length of the sentences so we see that for this text that we have above we have the average as 105 so this is the average of uh, all the all the sentences that we have in this uh, dictionary that is sentence value now to get the summary out of it let's say that we want to get the summary like we want to shorten this text so we will be just creating a simple condition first of all we'll be initializing a empty string here called a summary for every sentence in the sentences if the sentence is in sentence and just check this and condition here where the sentence value sentence is greater than 1.2 times of the average that is it should be greater than 1.2 times of 105 so what is the 1.2 times of 105 so if we just multiply 105 by 1.2 we get that 126 so if the sentence value is greater than 126 then that sentence will be included in the summary so you can also change it according to your wish so if you want it even 101.4 times so this number you increase the summary will be shortened so this is how it actually works so let's try to print this summary for 1.4 times the average so this is how the summary now looks like such tendulkar took up cricket at the age of 11 made his test debut this and that so you see that still the text which we input and we get the summary all about still makes a lot of sense so this was how you can just simply make a text summarizer and uh, try to get uh, the feel of what the entire text that you input is all about so in nlp there are many other advanced uh, algorithms which can give you very uh, decent result regarding summarization so we will be seeing about all of them in future videos but for now we are not using any algorithm just we are using we are depending on the frequency of words and try to get the sentence value based on those frequency of words and try to summarize the text so this is how it works so let us also try for some other uh, uh, text here let's try to check for um, messy let's try to see how it summarizes things on messy so this is the summary of uh, this is some text regarding messy that we take from wikipedia 
then we try to input it here so we have the average year now we try to get the summary year so you see how much shortened the summary is and all of it that we have in this summary actually makes sense uh, about messy so let's try to get a little longer summary so this is how it looks like so i hope that whatever i have shown in this video makes sense to you and uh, you have got an idea about text summarization and how you can do it and play around with it in python uh, also do try to if you have any doubts feel free to write in the comment section below and if you have done text summarization with any other uh, nlp algorithm also let me know in the comment section below till then see you next time do hit the like share and subscribe button